Hi, this is Robert, LXI Computer. Today we are looking at our latest edition of our uh, PCIe workstation, the XI M Tower PCIe, based on the Intel Core i7 2600K. The 2600K is an unlocked CPU and we offer two commercially available configurations at 3.9 gigahertz and 4.1 gigahertz. For this particular build, uh, we are demonstrating a, a clock speed of 4.9 gigahertz just to show how stable the product and how powerful it is. Let's take a look at the case uh, to begin with. We choose a, a Cooler Master HIF922 that um, uh, is a mid-sized tower with a very, very high uh, uh, ventilation force uh, um, helped by gridding in the front and a different um, uh, 20 centimeter fan and 12 centimeter fan to uh, maintain a good uh, airflow with low noise. From the top of the case, we can notice uh, uh, the uh, two um, USB ports, one uh, um, SATA port and uh, an input and output for the audio for a earphone and microphone. We have a DVD and uh, Blu-ray um, peripherals and we have two uh, USB 3.0 uh, interface taking a five and a quarter bay. Um, on the side is also a grid uh, for higher ventilation. The, the monitor that we use this time is the latest and greatest from Samsung, is a 24 inch LED uh, monitor and uh, is, um, is model um, BX2431. Uh, is a mid-sized monitor with a, what they call mega contrast, it's a 5 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. Um, we are running a spec view for, uh, uh, benchmark and uh, we're going to take a look at how this benchmark um, results are coming out in the next session of this video. Okay, we open the case and the first thing that comes to our eyes is the uh, Cooler Master V6 uh, um, heat sink. It's a um, high performance, um, high ventilation heat sink and has a two 12 centimeter fan, one in the front and one in the back, conveying air to the back of the case and uh, gives a very high thermal conveyance, uh, keeping the CPU cool even at uh, moderate uh, room temperature. Um, on top of that, uh, we, we noticed this uh, huge 20 centimeter fan that will uh, take out hot air from the, from the top of the case. And from the back, there's a 12 centimeter fan also. Um, on the side, we have installed on this build a 16 gigabyte of DDR3 1333 RAM. And uh, the video card of choice is the latest and greatest and most powerful NVIDIA Quadro, the Quadro 6000. Uh, this card is uh, remarkably powerful from the GPU standpoint and for the fact that uh, is, um, it has a 6 gigabyte of video RAM. For this particular build we uh, installed also a companion card for the Quadro 6000, the G-Sync card. This card allows um, multiple monitor synchronization of, of, of the same image even within one system or uh, with multiple systems. Um, power supply of choice is the uh, Cooler Master uh, Silent Pro 1000 Watt. Uh, is a quiet power supply, powerful and modular. The modularity allows us to install only the cables required for the build, keeping the um, installation clean and maximizing the ventilation uh, of the case itself. Uh, we, we use a two um, Western Digital 10,000 RPM Velociraptor um, 600 gigabyte SATA 6 gig in a RAID 0 uh, configuration giving a total of 1.2 terabyte of net disk space um, with high speed access. Motherboard of choice is the P8 P67 Deluxe from ASUS is one of the top motherboard available for the Core i7 Sandy Bridge and um, the motherboard has a lot of uh, um, features uh, he has a three PCIe 16X, of which uh, one is uh, utilized by the uh, video card at maximum speed of 16X. If both of them are uh, installed, they will run at 8X. And there's a third one, uh, 16X down below, that has a 16X format, but will run at 4 or 1X uh, uh, speed. Um, there are also uh, 
two PCI uh, 32 old fashioned uh, slots and the two 1X PCIe. One is used in this case by the G-Sync card and our one is uh, below the video card. The motherboard has um, an ample uh, variety of peripherals, 4 plus 4 SATA 6 gig and 3 gig uh, interface, one external power eSATA and one eSATA, and the two Firewire 1394A and eight USB, uh, both 2.0 and 3.0 standard. There is also a Bluetooth capability that's kind of new for a uh, desktop uh, motherboard. Um, that's it for the description of the of the build. Uh, in the meantime, we ran this uh, Cinebench, and we have a remarkable uh, number of 1.7.4 uh, frame per second, and uh, that looks like to be the highest number um, available, thanks to the high efficiency of the CPU, and also uh, the the very good the power of the video card. We can also run the <coughs> an interesting um, number here on the on the CPU. The CPU mark of Cinebench is a rendering package and um, is used as an algorithm of tile rendering. So um, it will use all four cores and the eight threads. Now we we will see here that um, this um, the mark we're gonna get is quite good compared to even. Uh, dual processor Xeons that they have then 8 cores and 16 threads so the, twice as amount of cores twice the amount of, of threads but only uh, roughly uh, you know 15 percent uh, more performance so that stands highly for this uh, the efficiency of this CPU um, previously we also ran uh, some um, spec view perf benchmark and with the quarter of uh, 6,000, it takes a long time to run. So we have here a summary. Uh, this is of the date of uh, May the 20th, 2011. All those numbers, uh, there's a Katia 74.06 uh, and a Maya 129.54 and so forth. Uh, uh, Pro ease of 15.61. Uh, All those numbers seem to be higher than what uh, we can see on uh, on uh, the spec view perf um, website uh, the standard performance evaluation corporation you guys can check by yourself of course uh, as as published uh, this date of uh, by 20 2011 all the car all the cards here are only the quad the quarter four five thousand and four thousand so that speaks highly for the quarter six thousand performance as well for the fact that this cpu uh, the Sandy Bridge um, Core i7 2600K is r highly, highly efficient compared to um, even some of the bigger Xeon uh, CPU available. And that's it for this uh, evaluation. With uh, the Quadro 6000, we're going to have a little uh, look at a different video card that gives uh, quite remarkable Cinebench uh, marks without spending as much money. Okay, we open the case again uh, on the PCIe workstation, this time uh, using a different video card that is uh, best suited for um, multimedia and video editing applications. Um, this, uh, the video card we're talking is the AMD Radeon HD 6970. It's a 2GB uh, DDR5 video card and uh, em employs the AMD iInfinity technology um, the card is rich of um, video output. He has two DVIs, two display ports, and one HDMI um, interface. Uh, so it supports a, a high definition 7.1 digital surround sound through the card and um, is capable of driving simultaneously three monitors or even daisy chaining up to six monitors in, with the I, uh, Infinity technology. Um, this card is really remarkable for its performance uh, on the Cinebench ben benchmark on which you guys just uh, seen we can achieve a, a score of 105.81 uh, so, um, we consider this score very very high uh, one of the highest possible achievable uh, at the present time um, and this is um, with our Core i7-2600K CPU also the uh, CPU um, mark is uh, pretty remarkable 
and um, here it is. Mm, we have a 9.62 uh, mark um, and um, is uh, obtained only with a single CPU and with four cores and eight threads compared to uh, some slightly higher uh, 10.33 uh, and 10.69 scores that has been achieved using Xeon dual processor so having a double amount of cores, eight cores and 16 thread on the um, hyper-thread Intel, in, Intel technology. Um, this is all for this presentation of uh, this system and uh, for more details uh, visit xicomputer.com website. Thank you very much.